everybody and welcome back to Fidget's Blitz and now we're going to look at five premium tanks that really did exist. They are completely real, they are not fake and they are not fantasy. And to kick us off we have the Panther M10, the German tier 7 medium tank. That is a premium tank in the game. Now a lot of people think that this tank is just fake, actually it's not. This tank did exist, albeit only limited and only in one operation. It was used in what they call Operation Grief, or which was one of the attacks on the Ardennes Forest. And basically what they did, they took a Panther A and dressed it up to look like the American M10 Wolverine, because they were going to push through the American lines and it was basically subterfuge as <laughs> simple as that the germans however didn't call this the panther m10 they called it the ersatz panther and just in case you realize you didn't think they existed there is a picture coming up right now in the top right hand corner of a captured ersatz panther or ersatz m10 uh, an interesting tank indeed it's exactly the same as a panther because all it's got is a few bits and bobs bolted around the turret to make it look Americanish, and they've taken the side skirts off in, in, you know it does from a distance look like the m10 wolverine an interesting tank but a real tank despite the fact that it's a premium tank and you know a lot of people think that the premium tanks are fake this one isn't it is real and i think wargaming have done a good job they, they actually made it look real why this is a premium? Well, this was one of the earlier premiums that was released, so it could have sat in the tech tree, to be honest with you, but it doesn't. It's a premium. Nice tank as well, although difficult to bloody well drive. Moving on to tier 8, we have this little gem sitting in the Russian tree. Well, it's not a tech tree tank, it's a premium, clearly. The T44-100. This tank, well, I say it existed, it existed in the form of two prototypes. Basically, what the Russians did, they took the design of the T-44, which had quite a small gun, 85mm, and they shoved a 100mm gun on it and increased the armour. That, in turn, made it very slow, which is quite fairly represented in the game. But it did give it more armor protection and it did give it a better, better gun. And there is a picture of one in the right hand corner for those who think it didn't exist. Thing was, it never really went past the prototype stage. The Soviets dropped it and they then proceeded to develop the T 54 instead. But this is a real tank. It could, in theory, sit in a tech tree rather than be a premium. And, you know, it would be quite nice to have as a variant to the T-44 uh, coming off the tech tree. But Wargaming stuck it in as a premium, and that's where it lies. Moving on, but staying in Tier 8, we have the Chinese Type 59. Although its real designation is the WZ-120. I mean, this really does exist. It really is a tank in its own right. It's basically the Chinese version of the T-54A. Uh, well, T-54A, T-55. 9,500 of these were made by China. And, you know, they, they are used by numerous countries around the world, funnily enough. Not just the Chinese, but the Chinese do use them. We've got... There's been a British variant, Iranian, North Korean, Pakistani, Bangladeshi... So they are real tanks in their own right. Why Wargaming stuck this in as a premium is because we didn't have a Chinese tech tree back then. This would have fitted nicely in the Chinese tech tree. We do, however, have the WZ-120 in tier 9, which is exactly the same tank in real life. Um, the Type 59 and the WZ-120, the latter being the official Chinese designation of the tank. So this is a real tank, guys. It really did exist. It's, uh, like I said, 9,500 of them made, albeit under the moniker WZ-120. A real tank. S moving up to tier 9, we have this little beastie that sits in the hybrid nation. The T-55A. 
Why this one sits in the hybrid nation is actually beyond me. It was built in Poland. It was used primarily by East Germany, but the Russians also had it. Basically, it's just a T-55 with an improved MBC, which is Nuclear Biological Chemical Warfare System, integrated into it. It was meant to just protect the crew, so it is effectively a T-54, T-55 with an improved system. There's a picture of one there in the Arab colours. I think that one's Egyptian, so it does exist. It's real, and a lot of people operated this tank um because of well it was a nice tank and um, basically it's a t-55 they there are pictures of them on the streets of um in poland funnily enough when martial law was declared um sometime in the 1950s so it's a real tank in its own right why it sits in the hybrid nation i don't know it could sit in the, the pan-european tree as a polish or it could sit in the russian tree effectively there is a picture of a Polish East German variant there in a museum. So it's a real tank. It really existed. It didn't need to be, you know, stuck on its own in its own hybrid nation, realistically. But when this came out, there was no pan-European tree and they didn't want to stick it in the Russian tree. So that's why it became a hybrid nation. But they could change it if they wished. Knocking it up again now, we go to tier 10 with the American M60. Again, this is a real tank. It was well produced in the 1950s, 1959 to be exact, and it was in service with the US Army until 2005. The version we have in the game is basically the M60 with the ANVSS-1 VR-1 IR searchlight, and this tank saw action in Vietnam amongst other places. So it's a real tank, it really existed. And there is a picture of one there at, well, it was at Fort Benning. It's, it's, it's a proper MBT, it's a proper American tank. It borderline for Blitz, because it's a 1959 tank, but they could, Wargaming could have brought this in in the American tech tree in its own right. It's a, it's a medium tank, and it was a medium tank in real life. It's a nice little tank. It's, uh, in the game, it comes with a lot of controversy because some people got it for free, and it, recently it was sold for like $100. So it's one of those. But it's a real tank. It could really sit in the tech tree if they really wanted it to, but it was released as a premium. Controversial tank, but a nice tank nevertheless. Staying with tier 10, we have the last one, the Chieftain Mark VI. Now, this one, oddly enough, isn't as controversial as the M60 because this was an outright premium tank that you had to buy. However, I would argue it is even more controversial because this tank is an upgrade of the Chieftain Mark II. And it was basically what was called a Chieftain Mark V until they redesignated it the Chieftain Mark VI. In 1975, I mean, this tank is not, uh, realistically, an old tank. This tank is a 1975 tank for all intensive purposes. It is a Mark II, I agree, and the Mark II came out much earlier. I mean, the Mark II came into service in 1967 in Germany. But the Mark VI, well, basically, the additions were they put in Klansman radios, they had a better muzzle reference system, they used better, um, a better barrel from the AL-11A3 up to the AL-11A5 barrel, and they, include, they, they increased the horsepower. So this is not, you know, a, 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 a Mark II. It's not the 1960s tank. It really is a 1970s tank. So it is real and it, it doesn't really sit in the timeline of Blitz realistically, which are tanks up until 1960 really. This is a 1975 tank, a nice tank. A lot of people would say it's OP and I'm not surprised. I mean, it's a modern battle tank. It's as simple as that. Anyway, I have been Fujit. Those have been my top five 
premium tanks that really did exist and could sit in the tech tree if warranted. By all means, comment, like, and everything below. If you want to subscribe, please do so. It's a lovely thing to do, guys, and it costs you nothing. If you've got any replays, send them to me, FujitsBlitz at gmail.com or post them to my Discord server. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because, you know, that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.